Hey everybody, Derek Pierce here, and in this video, we are going to be looking at a popular WordPress theme called Generate Press. Now, Generate Press is something that I personally bought and switched my main Think Tank Lab website over, as well as several other uh, sites that I'm running. I'm now using Generate Press pretty much on all of my money sites for the most part that I'm uh, that I'm using SEO and affiliate marketing with. And I'm going to explain why in this video, and then I'm also going to give you a demo and a rundown of the software. First and foremost, if you're new here to the channel be sure to subscribe i release digital marketing videos every single week here and we'd love to have you on board also you'll find a free training that i put together that will show you how i built an affiliate marketing business from scratch you'll find the link below in this video as well as you will find a link to this full blown generate press uh, review page so i set this up because this was something that i bought personally and i went through this product because i was looking for something to help with my site speed issues. So site speed is becoming a very important topic as you probably already know. It's a big ranking factor because you, Google is looking for the best user experience. So if you've got a website that loads fast and people can click through and it's it's very user friendly, then guess what? You're gonna get favorable rankings, more favorable rankings with Google, which is why I've changed over to this particular platform. So before I was running uh, something else, I was running a combination of uh, Studio Press. I was also using some Thrive Theme stuff, still using Thrive Themes for the most part, but I'm using Thrive Themes for their landing page builders and that sort of thing. With this, this is the theme that I'm using for my for most of my affiliate websites and for most of my affiliate money sites. And uh, again, the reason mainly is site speed. Also, I started noticing in several niches that that I was a part of, that I was building sites with, that a lot of the sites were were running on this particular theme, the same exact theme. And so, at that point, I knew that I had to uh, make the switch. So, the main thing that you want to look for in this is this is going to help you with your site speed because this doesn't have all of the drag and drop features that you see with a lot of the themes and a lot of the plugins that you see. So there's not a lot of stuff bogging it down. This is something that's more of a bare bones uh, type platform. It's not going to have the drag and drop functionality like you may be used to or like you may have seen with something like Thrive, but I highly recommend this. So first and foremost, there's a couple of different options that you can use with Generate Press. First of all, Generate Press, you can install this as a as a free theme. But if you want to unlock some of the more advanced features that I'm going to be talking about inside this video, then you need to upgrade to the uh, to the pro version, which I've done. So it's not that expensive at all. It's very minimum uh, for the the yearly, and it gets you unlimited use on that particular. Um, for the particular theme. So the way that this works is you've got the theme. If we click right here, we see themes. You can see you've got generate press. And then if you go to plugins, that is how you are going to, uh, that's how you're going to upgrade to the pro version. So you can see I've got down here, I've got the uh, GP premium. That's what that is. So uh, that's what will happen. You'll install the theme and then you'll, if you get the pro version, you're actually going to install a plugin. And this talks with the theme and lets the theme know uh, all the features that's built into it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go here to Appearance and we're going to go to Generate Press. And I'm going to show you some of these more advanced themes. First and foremost, they have a built-in site library. So if you're looking for something that you can that you can build for, say, a client website or something like that, or if you're looking to build an affiliate website and you're needing something to start off with, you don't want to have to worry about you know the formatting and you know the widths and the colors and all that stuff. Then I would highly suggest that you look at the site library, which again that's for the pro version. But you can see they've got a a large variety of of sites that you can plug in here. So if you wanted to, let's say you're working with a gym or a yoga studio or something like that, you can just click on this and then you can click details and you can install this and it's ready to go. And all you gotta do is just then change out the content. It's very, very easy to do. So um, I'm not gonna do that because obviously this is on a website, but you, you guys get the gist of this, of how this whole thing works. And they've added a lot more of these in the site library since I've become a member. And so I'm assuming that they're going to continue to build this thing out. But what I wanted to show you mainly was inside this, uh, inside this platform, just how easy it actually is to work. So with 
this premium plugin or the pro version of the plugin, whatever you want to call it, uh, you can install certain elements that you want to that you want to update. So let's say, for example, you want to install you know custom backgrounds. You want to change the backgrounds out. Let's say you want to have a blog page. Let's say you want to change the colors, the copyright. You just install what you need. And you can see I've got everything installed outside of the WooCommerce. And I, I don't want that. I don't need that. That's not something that I'm using. But you install this, you activate it, and then it becomes available uh, in the Options tab. So you go right here to All Options, and this is going to open up the customization inside WordPress to where you can come in here and make these changes. So you can see you've got the, the tab right here, Site Identity. This is where you can change your logo and all that stuff. Then you've got the layout. You can change the layout of the container, the header, primary navigation, secondary navigation, and sidebars, blog, footer. This, this is where you, you can basically customize this to look any way you want it to. So you can see colors right here. If we wanted to change the header color, you can see I've got the header background is white. If I wanted to change that to something else, I can just click on here and I can select that and you can see how that uh, how that works. Now I'm not gonna do that, I'm gonna just hit refresh here and so that way it doesn't change out the, the look of that. But I just wanna show you how simple this, this is to, to work. But you have complete customization uh, over everything, of the backgrounds, of the colors of the font, yeah, literally you can change everything. In addition to the to the font, you can actually change the font itself. So you can see right here we've got the body. We can change the, the font of the body if we want it to look a certain way, look a little different. If we want to change the font size, the height, the margins. If we want to change any of that stuff, this is the tab that we do it in. And you can just follow along step by step of the way. So you've got, you're starting with the site identity and it's going all the way down here to where you can change everything out from background images to your fonts to the menus, widgets, literally everything. Now, something I wanna show you inside of Generate Press, even though I said that there's not a, uh, there's not a drag and drop feature that you see, but they have something called sections. And this allows you to sort of customize the, uh, the look and feel of the pages without being bogged down with a drag and drop editor. So what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna title this uh, Generate Press test. I don't want to save this as, uh, just save this as a draft here. And what we're going to do is I'm going to go down here and click on this called sections. So where it says use sections, what this does is this allows us to add our content in sections instead of using the WordPress, what you see is what you get at editor. So when I click right here, you can see this is, is it, is it Guttenberg now? Is that what they're calling it? Whatever that is. Uh, but you know you can type in whatever and, and it's gonna show right here. What you can do inside of using, let me go back to sections, what you're able to do is you're able to have a little bit more customization or a lot more customization over the content and how it's displayed. So we can just click right here where it says add section. And then once you see the section here, you can click to edit the section. So you got content and you've got settings. So the, the content type, we can do a full width or we can do it contained. If we want to do it the full width of the page, we can do that. Or if we want to just keep it contained, we can do that. Then you've got the inner box type. Do you want it full width or do you want it contained? And then you can select the background color. So let's just select uh, a background color here. I'm going to show you kind of what we can do here. I'm going to do text color. We're going to do this as white. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select a box as full width, and then I'm going to select the, um, the inner box as being contained. So I want, in other words, I want the full width going across the page, but I want the text, the inner box, I want it contained inside the box there, okay? So then what we're gonna go in here and do is we're gonna type in content. So we're gonna title this section as generate press review section and what we're going to do is we're going to go down here and I'm going to click visual and we're going to add some content in here so if you're looking for generate press this review will do the trick okay and then I'm just going to put in some bullets just to show you fat uh, just show you how this looks
and I'm going to click apply. And then I'm going to click uh, save draft. And what we're going to do is we're going to preview this, show you what this looks like. So that's it. So you can see right here, we've got this full width and then we've got the text inside the content. Now, if we wanted to add different sections, so you can see I can click add a section and we're just going to title this one uh, top section. And uh, this is the first section of my generate press review. And then I'm going to go to settings here and I'm gonna actually upload a background image, okay? And I'm gonna look at something that I've already got. I'm gonna select this one right here, set this as a background image. Same thing, I'm gonna do the full width and then I'm gonna do the contained and we're gonna do the text color. In this case, we're going to do it as blue just so we, you can see the, the different effect here. And I'm gonna click apply and I'm gonna actually drag this on top of this one and then I'm gonna add a bottom section. We're gonna title this bottom section Now, something you can do too is, is you can break these up into uh, like like what you would with a uh, with a sales letter or something like that. So if you've got you know the the headline at the top, you wanted to customize the background and make it stand out. You have the headline, then below that you have a video, then you've got the bullets, and then you've got the order button. You could do something totally uh, very easy with uh, with this with this uh, software or with this this theme, I should say. And again, it's not going to bog down everything. So I'm going to do this background. I'm going to do this one white. And we're going to do the text color as, we're going to do this one as, as uh, black as well. And we're going to click full width, contain, same thing, apply. And we're going to click save draft. And we're going to look and see what this looks like now. Okay, so as you can see right here, I put this as a, having a background with um, a background on this top section. And then, you know, if we wanted to do this to where this looked a little different in terms of having this as an H2 tag or an H1 tag and have this stand out, I mainly just use this just to show you how you can break this up into content chunks. And you don't have to have a drag and drop editor because a lot of times when you have all of these drag and drop editors, a lot of times they will bog down your, uh, your WordPress site and in turn make it slower loading. That was the whole point of going with Generate Press to begin with. So in wrapping this video up, I highly recommend Generate Press. This is what I feel like the best WordPress theme that's on the market today. Uh, it's fast loading. I feel like it's pretty easy to use once you kind of get used to where everything is at and where everything is located. It's not going to be a drag and drop editor like you maybe have used to in the past or maybe that you have used in the past, but this is not going to bog your site down with a lot of unnecessary stuff and a lot of uh, unnecessary modules that you get with a lot of other WordPress themes and plugins. So highly encourage that. You'll find a link below in the video to take you to that. You'll also find a link to my review that I did on my Think Tank Lab website. Kind of outlines everything as far as the pricing goes and everything else. And uh, if you enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe and like it. It actually helps me get found in the algorithm. And I would love to hear your experience with GeneratePress. Uh, thanks, thanks again for watching. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.